So what was the dramatic change of compositional workflow that Pat Metheny made that led him to the composition of First Circle? So it all started from a comment made by film composer Jerry Goldsmith. As Pat Metheny and Jerry Goldsmith were working on the score for the movie uh, Under Fire, he told him to watch for the tendency to write only stuff that was easy for him to play on the guitar and instead take a more of a composer approach of writing things that are beyond his capabilities as a guitar player with the faith that somehow it will be performed. Pat Metheny reacted with this interesting, unusual, but catchy rhythmical pattern of one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. And as he put it very nicely, he now had to come up with solutions to the question that this pattern seemed to be asking. And he came up with three things. The first one was just the band clapping the rhythm at the beginning of the piece. It was a, an excellent way to communicate to the audience the new unusual pattern. Now, the second thing he did was the guitar interlude. Now, looking at the first phrase of the guitar interlude, instead of going one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, it goes one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two. I think in that, Pat Metheny signals to us right from the start that if he's going to have something going for him musically, he's going to go for it, even if it doesn't agree 100% with the pattern. Now we get to the most famous part of First Circle, and this is the main theme. I want to try something. I want to try to recreate the moment of composing this part. Maybe it went something like that. So he starts with just C major seven, playing the pattern. Now, how about if we now move to the minor? How about E minor? That's nice, again. Now what? Am I gonna go? Yes, that's, that's an option, but I feel like going to a more special place. How about if we went after the E minor to this G sharp minor? That's nice. That's nice too, this F sharp minor. And by now, I'm beginning to think, oh, maybe I'm heading to E major. Maybe this is the third degree, second degree, the fourth degree, A, and this is my E major. Okay, that sounds nice. Let's try it. a question mark on that E. And now, how about if all of a sudden we get back to C? And get back to G, and this G sounds like home. So how about if I now understand, only now, that actually, this initial C major seven was the fourth degree of G. 
After we get to the G, we make a strong move to the relative minor, E minor. To the D, the dominant. B minor. Again, this E minor. Now I will go into the complete tonal plan of first circle in details, but specifically about starting from the fourth degree, C major seven going to G, I can think of another very famous song by Bert Bacharach, Close to You, that starts with the same C major seven. C major seven. To G. And G is home, G is the tonic. So same as first circle, we start from C major seven going to E minor. Moving to E. And then back to C. 